Top 10 Books That Screwed Up The World Books are perhaps the best asset, yet ordinarily in history books have been composed which are deceiving or false. Sometimes this has led to wide-scale demise and pulverization and insidious legislative systems. This is a rundown of 10 of the most noticeably awful books of this sort, books that have accomplished more mischief than anything. The ongoing idea in these books is trickery, perpetually not purposeful, but rather the outcomes are similar in any case. Number 10. Malleus Maleficarum by Heinrich Kramer and Jacob Sprenger, 1486. Malleus Maleficarum, the hammer of witchcraft was a manual for witch trackers and judges to get witches and stamp them out. It came out only before the Protestant Transformation and it was one of the most well-known books among the reformers who were needing to crush evil out of their nations. This book without any help dispatched hundreds of years of witch chases. Number 9. Coming of Age in Samoa by Margaret Mead 1928. Margaret Mead was an American social anthropologist who headed out to Samoa to address the inquiries on sexuality presented in America during the 1920s, especially regarding ladies. Lamentably for Mead, the adolescents she met in Samoa revealed to her wild stories of sexual indiscrimination and Mead detailed it all as actuality. Margaret acknowledged our exaggerated stories like they were valid. If tested by Mead, the young ladies would not have delayed to come clean, yet Mead never scrutinized their accounts. As per Wikipedia, the utilization of culturally diverse correlation with feature issues inside Western culture was profoundly persuasive and contributed significantly to the uplifted consciousness of anthropology and ethnographic investigation in the USA. Interestingly, Mead was an exceptionally respected scholarly and had a huge part in the plan of the 1979 American Book of Common Prayer, Church of England. Number 8. The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli, 1532. The Prince is a treatise meant for rulers who had shed all scruples, to a point that they might see evil as potentially more beneficial to society than good. Machiavelli hoped to start a revolution in the hearts of his readers, and he certainly achieved that. According to Machiavelli, it is not necessary for a prince to have all the above-mentioned qualities – merciful, faithful, humane, honest, and religious – but it is indeed necessary to appear to have them. Nay, I dare say this, that by having them and always observing them, they are harmful and by appearing to have them they are useful. Some of the people inspired by this book are Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, and Napoleon I of France. Number 7. Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler, 1925. In Mein Kampf, Hitler outlined his racist plan for a new Germany which included mass murder of Jews, and a war against France and Russia to make living space for Germans. The book is largely influenced by The Crowd, a study of the popular mind by Gustave Le Bon, 1895, which suggested propaganda as a means to controlling the irrational behavior of crowds. In addition, Hitler drew on the fabricated protocols of the elders of Zion to give support for the need for his anti-Semitic plans. Hitler speaks of the Jewish peril, which he believed was a conspiracy by Jews to take over the world. The book outlines the racial worldview in which people are classified by race as superior or inferior. In 2003 the sequel to Mein Kampf, second book was published in English for the first time. Second book expands on the original ideas of Mein Kampf and outlines further plans for a war with the United States and the British Empire for entire world domination by Germany. Number 6. The Pivot of Civilization by Margaret Sanger, 1922. Margaret Sanger is the mother of modern contraception and the founder of Planned Parenthood. In her 1922 book The Pivot of Civilization, 
She outlined her theories of eugenics control of the human race by selective breeding and racial purity three years before Hitler did the same in Mein Kampf. The basis of her support of contraception was entirely due to her belief that inferior humans should be killed to enable a superior race to appear over time. Number 5. Democracy and Education by John Dewey, 1916 in Democracy and Education, Dewey disparages schooling that focuses on traditional character development and endowing children with hard knowledge, and encourages the teaching of thinking skills instead. His views have had great influence on the direction of American education, particularly in public schools. This book could be considered to be the anti-classical education manifesto and the consequence, a generation of youths with an inferior education which lacks a founding in solid facts and knowledge. Number 4. Baby and Child Care by Benjamin Spock, 1946. Regardless of whether you agree with the methodology of Spock, no one can deny that many children probably died of cot death as a result of his advice to put babies to sleep on their stomachs. This advice was extremely influential on healthcare providers, with nearly unanimous support through to the 1990s. Number 3. The Protocols of the Elders of Zion The Protocols of the Elders of Zion is a booklet that purports to describe a plot by world jewelry and masonry to take over the world. Despite the fact that the booklet is a hoax, it was spread wide and far and believed by most Europeans to be true. Many people today still consider it be factual. It was instrumental to Hitler's anti-Jewish efforts in Germany and it was used after the Russian Revolution to perpetrate hatred and violence against Jews. The booklet continues to be published and disseminated in many Middle Eastern states which are political enemies of Israel. Number 2. The Manifesto of the Communist Party by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, 1848. This book has inspired some of the most brutal regimes in man's history. Regardless of whether there has been a state which is a true Marxist state, this book has inspired so many evil actions that it cannot be left off a list of this nature. Some of the principles found in the manifesto are the abolition of private ownership of land, confiscation of property of emigrants, heavy taxes, and the abolition of inheritance. Number 1. Darwin's Black Box by Michael Behe, 1996. By arguing against aspects of Darwin's theories, this book has given fuel to the fundamentalists who argue that a literal interpretation of the book of Genesis is the only possible manner in which the earth was created. Despite much refutation from the scientific community, many fundamentalists still use this as a source for proof that evolution is not true.